Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm sharing this graduation card that I made for my niece who graduated from college last weekend. Let's get started. Normally, I work forward to the sentiment, but we're going to start with the sentiment that I'll be cutting with the Playful Alphabets dies. And I'm using basic gray and one of the foam adhesive sheets. And so I just want to pull the backing paper back and set my square of basic gray on here. Now I've chosen my color based on the school colors. And then I'm going to use my snips and just cut around this because I don't need to put the whole piece of foam adhesive sheet through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So, okay, and this piece of backing sheet comes off and we'll wait on the second one until I've cut my pieces. So let me set this aside. Then I've gone ahead and used the suit and tie dies to cut pieces for her robe. So I cut a black robe and then used this piece to cut the V out of the neckline for her robe. And then she wore a red stole. And so I've cut a poppy parade stole using the lapel die from the suit and tie dies. Now before I assemble these pieces I want to zhuzh this a little bit and make it look like satin, her stole with satin. And so I'm going to use my Versamark ink pad. Let me pull this onto my scrap paper and I'm just going to coat the whole piece with Versamark. It's a nice juicy ink pad. And then I'm going to bring in my clear stamp and emboss powder and coat this. So now we'll have a, a shiny lapel, lapel stole to go on her gown once this is heat embossed. So let me take these aside and do my little bit of die cutting to finish the sentiment and heat emboss this piece and I'll be right back. Now that my stole is embossed and I've cut my letters, I want to start and assemble. So the first thing that we're going to do is add this to our card or this layer and it's going to be flat. See how nice and, can you see how shiny that is? Love it. Okay, so then we want to stick this right around the neck hole here. Oops. And lay that down. And then I'm going to grab my snips and we're just going to cut this piece off that's sticking out over the top. And now that we've got her stole. So next though, she had some cords and we're going to add some cords. The she I keep referring to is my niece that just graduated. And due to COVID, we weren't able to attend, but I will be seeing her soon so that I can give her her card. And so, let me grab my glue dots and my take your pick. And this is the Playful Pets combo pack. And it worked out perfectly to go with um, the school colors. So we're just going to make sure that I'm not way out of control with length here. And I want to add a glue dot on the back and catch both of these pieces. 
And then let's take my snips and cut that. So then we're going to attach that right here and let these come down. And then we're going to do that again on this other side. So let's put this right at the top with the glue dot and then add that to the top of the stole here. And let's see if we can get these kind of the same length. Okay, let's move those out of the way and put my snips away and move my take your pick. So the next thing that I want to do is add this to a layer of basic white. And I'm just going to adhere this directly on the basic white. And then let's take the card base. So I've got a smoky slate card base and a basic white insert for the inside so that I can write a little message to her. And as much as possible, I've tried to incorporate her school colors. And, of course, she was in a black gown for graduation. So we're just going to adhere this piece directly to the card front. And then we're back to where we started, and I've got a sentiment here. So I want to lay it out first, and that's why I haven't done anything with these to adhere them in place yet. Oops, I don't need my backing sheet to have disappeared yet. So... Spacing is everything. Okay. Okay, so let's straighten this up and we'll go for our first word here, which is Suma. And I'm sort of playing on the fact that she graduated summa cum laude. Let's see if my backing sheet, here we go. Trying to get the spacing about the same over from the edge. And then we're just going to work our way in. Let's see if this is going to let me Oop, not quite straight. That won't look tidy. Okay. And then let's put our outside M in on. Okay. Okay, and then we'll add our next word. Oop, did I pull the backing off? I didn't pull it completely off of that. That will never stick if I don't have it. Okay. 
And the reason I'm having to go back and pull other bits of backing off is because for some of my letters, I pieced together uh, from other die cutting. Uh, I pieced the foam adhesive sheets together, and so they are not peeling off just in one go, which you would get if you were using a brand new um, piece of adhesive sheet. Let's see, this needs to go over some. Okay. And as I said, I played on the fact that she was summa cum laude, and I'm saying summa cum grats. So basically, with much congratulations. And I'm being just a little more fiddly with this than I would normally be, since the words have to be straight, or mostly straight. Sometimes that's what I'm working with, is mostly straight. As in this case, I need to bring this A over so that it's spaced under that M and the U. And then we get our G here. Okay, and we're going to move this R over just a smidge. And I'm going to check and make sure that I've got all the backing off the T. Okay, and there we have it. Our summa cum grats card for our college graduate this last week. Thanks for stopping by. This was Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker of theartfulinker.com. You can give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card-making friends. If you're in the United States, please do some of your Stampin' Up! shopping in my store. You can find a link for that in the description below. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Have a great day. Bye.